The US launched a drone strike against an Islamic State attack planner in eastern Afghanistan, the military said on Friday. It comes after a suicide bombing on Thursday at the gates of the Kabul airport, claimed by the Islamic State. That attack killed 13 US troops and scores of Afghan civilians. In response, US President Joe Biden ordered the Pentagon to come up with plans to strike at the perpetrators. The strike took place in Nangarhar province, east of Kabul and bordering Pakistan. A US military statement said, quote, Initial indications are that we killed the target. We know of no civilian casualties. It did not say whether the target was connected with the airport attack. There are roughly 5,000 US troops at Kabul's airport, helping to evacuate American citizens, at-risk Afghans and other nationalities before Biden's Tuesday deadline. The White House said the next few days are likely to be the most dangerous of the US evacuation operation. Pentagon spokesman John Kirby cautioned on Friday that there are credible threats against the airport that they are monitoring. We certainly uh, are prepared um, and would expect future attempts, absolutely. We're monitoring these threats very, very specifically, uh, virtually in real time. And I think you can understand that when you get in more detail than that. More than 100,000 people have been evacuated out of Afghanistan in the past two weeks. Thursday's attack marked the first U.S. military casualties in Afghanistan since February 2020.